Here is something great about languages that can compile static binaries, such as Rust and Go. Something that's always a good idea in Docker files is doing multi-stage builds, where you have a builder that has all the dependencies needed to build the final product, and then you have a runtime that's just the bare minimum to make the app work. This Docker file is based on Orhun's Rusty Pace. What we have is a builder layer that's based on Alpine, so it's pretty slim already. But then we do something pretty weird. We copy in just the cargo toml and we create a main.rs and build it. The reason for this is so we can maximally utilize Docker's layering. Because this builds all our dependencies, we can actually cache them. And then when we do the final release build, only these layers need to be changed when we re rebuild this Docker image. Now this is the entire builder layer. How does our runtime layer look? We just copy the final binary into the slash bin, which actually is in path in the scratch image. So that's why we can invoke just the binary name here. How small is the final image? Less than a megabyte. And that's not much bigger than the actual binary size. So the fact that this is a docker image only adds about a hundred kilobytes. That's crazy.